Hey there folks, Uniform Guy again here with another review and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some more captured Russian uniform items from the current ongoing war in Ukraine. Today we'll be looking at some insignia items captured from the PMC Wagner Group. So the first one we're going to be looking at here is probably the most instantly recognisable and most infamous. It's the Wagner Full Colour Patch. So that's PMC Wagner Group in English at the top and then Wagner Group in Russian Cyrillic at the bottom. This one does feature some wear and tear mostly around the outsides and some staining and is Velcro backed for attaching to combat shirts and plate carriers. As a slight bit of contrast we have the exact same badge here but in a two-tone colour. This one features a lot more heavy wear and heavy staining on it. Still features PMC Wagner Group and Wagner Group in Cyrillic. Has some ground detritus stuck in the Velcro there as well. Then over to this side, we have a, another patch, which says Soldier of Fortune on the bottom in English and exactly the same on top in Cyrillic. This one features heavy staining and there is remains of mud in the lettering. It's also Velcro backed. Now this particular one, not sure what private military contractor unit it is, if any, it may even just be a morale patch. So we're just going to pop that one back down there. And what we've got here is a unit tape. This one reads PMC Wagner Group in Russian Cyrillic. It's near mint condition. We have the other one here, which is the English translation, PMC Wagner Group. Again, near mint condition, so they would be worn either like that or like that. Or it may only just be one or the other worn, not both of them may be worn. Next one we're looking at is this one here, which is just essentially a boxed W. Again, Wagner Group. This one does have some staining as well. This one I was told was um, intended for caps, like baseball caps, but I suppose you could wear it on a sleeve or on the front of a plate carrier as well. Again, Velcro backed like most of them. If we go here, we have a Russian tactical flash. This has obviously got Russia at the top. It's got the Russian flag underneath. This one is heavily worn. Again, Velcro backed. Doesn't appear to be too badly stained, if at all, but it is mostly worn. And the other one I've got on the screen is this one here. So it's got 1941 to 2022. That there is Babushka or grandmother. So I don't know if this means for grandmother. It uh, would probably make sense, but this is a um, morale patch. So obviously it's what they call the old lady Russian flag morale patch. It's uh, again some detritus in the Velcro in the back and it does have some heavy staining, but it's actually quite a nice little morale patch there. Now there is another patch I want to uh, show off that I haven't got on screen. I'll just go and grab it now. And this uh, patch I've been keeping off screen at the moment because it's quite unusual. Um, it came to me from the same person that I've got all these Wagner items from. So it's uh, this one here is what's been called the Wagner Musicians Patch. Um, because apparently Wagner are now referring to themselves as munition, uh, musicians instead of private military contractors. So we have a rather large pro-Russian Z, like pro-Russian Z, and the violin to suggest a musician. So this has got heavy mud build up. I don't know if this will focus. There's heavy mud build up and mud staining, and there's a lot of detritus and mud in the back. The uh, only thing slightly concerning about this one, if it is indeed Russian, as uh, some people may have noticed, the item that the Z and violin are sewn onto is a British Army issue blanking patch for the UBAX MTV combat shirts. So 
this is probably a homemade item from somebody who's either bought English surplus or has got hold of um, some English surplus from a Ukrainian depot. Um, yeah, those are the uh, captured insignia items. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.